Welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about angles of elevation and angles of depression in applying our right triangle trigonometry. So let's start with what an angle of elevation is. So we have angle of elevation is the angle measured from the horizontal to the line of sight. So here is my horizontal and here is my line of sight. And this is called an angle of elevation because from the horizontal to the line of sight travels upward. So elevation goes up. There is our definition. <laughs> so let's look at an example. We have a surveyor is 130 feet from the base of a tower. So here I've got my little picture and you can draw your own pictures. And it's 130 feet from the base of the tower. The angle of elevation to the top of the tower so if we look at to the very top of the tower, our angle of elevation is 32 degrees. So from our horizontal up to the line of sight. Find the height of the tower. So here's my height to the nearest tenth. Remember to include appropriate units in your answer. So again, we want to think about all the different ways we know to solve for a right triangle. So we have Pythagorean theorem. But in this case, it doesn't work because I have to have two sides given to me to find the third. We have our special right triangles, our 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90. Since this is 32 degrees, that doesn't work either. So that leaves us with our right triangle trigonometry, our sine, cosine, tangent. So we learned in our last video this little helpful hint, which we like to refer to as SOHCAHTOA. And this helps us figure out whether to use sine or cosine or tangent. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. Those are what those little letters help us remember. So here I have from our angle of reference, side across from the angle is always our opposite. This is always our hypotenuse. And here's our adjacent. Now, if you notice, we're solving for the opposite. We're given the adjacent. We're not using the hypotenuse, which means I want to use tangent for this problem because it uses opposite and adjacent. So I'm going to set up my equation. Tangent of our angle, angle always goes here, equals opposite, which is h, over adjacent, which is 130. Now we solve algebraically for h by multiplying both sides by 130. All right, and I'll rewrite that. So h is 130 times the tangent of 32 degrees. Now we can't solve for this by hand, so if you don't have a calculator, this is where you would stop. But in this problem, it does say to find the height of the tower to the nearest tenth. So it wants us to use a calculator to approximate the height. So here, I pull up my scientific calculator, and I want the tangent of 32. So again, my calculator works a little differently, maybe, than yours. I have to put my angle in first and then hit the tangent button, which gives me tangent of 32 degrees. And then I have to multiply by 130 after that. Your calculator might be a little different, so just make sure you're familiar with your device. All right, and then we want to round to the nearest tenth, so that makes 81.2. So H is 81.2, and then our units are feet. All right, so there is our first example. Now our next definition is angle of depression, which is an angle measured from the horizontal to the line of sight. If you notice, that's the exact same definition for the other uh, for angle of elevation. So here I have my horizontal and my line of sight. But if you notice, from the horizontal to the line of sight goes down, which is why it's called an angle of depression. So let's look at our example here. A plane is three miles above the ground. So here we've got our plane and our ground, and we have three miles above the ground. The pilot sights the airport at an angle of depression, so I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to make my right triangle, because we know we're going to use it, but we have to be really careful. It is not this angle that is our angle of depression, which is why these 
um, definitions are so important. Our definition specifically says that it has to go from the horizontal to the line of sight. So really, our angle of depression is this one here. This is going to be 15 degrees. Now that's not in our triangle, so we have a couple options. We can either use what we know as alternate interior angles to bring our 15 degrees down here into our triangle, or we could have made another triangle by bringing this all the way up here, and we can use either one of those. So we can use our 15 degrees as it is, or we can bring it diagonally uh, across our transversal down into our original triangle. So I always like to work, if it says on the ground, I want my line to be on the ground. So that's what I do here. So I like to use my alternate interior angles to bring it in. All right, so now it says, uh, what is the distance along the ground between the plane and the airport? So again, we want to use our sine, cosine, or tangent. So across from our angle is always our opposite. Here is my hypotenuse, and here's my adjacent. If you notice, again, we're not using hypotenuse. It just happens to be tangent again. Not always uh, the same, but in these two examples, they are. So our tangent of our angle, 15 degrees, equals opposite 3 over adjacent, which is x. Now, if our x, our variable that we're solving for, is in the denominator, we want to make a proportion and cross-multiply. So x times the tangent of 15 degrees equals 3 times 1. There are shortcuts to solving, but I find that shortcuts are difficult to remember for some students, so I like to just go with the, the good old-fashioned cross-multiply. All right, and then to solve for x, we want to divide by the tangent of 15. Remember, we can't separate tangents or 15. They're stuck together. And we want to balance that out by doing it to the other side. Oops, 15 degrees goes inside there. Okay. So now x is going to be 3 divided by the tangent of 15. And this is where our handy-dandy calculator comes in. So um, depending on your calculator, there's a couple ways you can do this. What I've found, a lot of students are successful when there's a tangent or a trigonometry in the denominator is find the tangent of 15 first and then write that down. So this is going to be 3 over, and use at least like three or four decimal places. So 0 0.2679. 0 0.2, whoops, and I've forgotten it. 2679, 679. Then do that calculation in your calculator. So now if I do 3 divided by 0.2679, I get my answer. We have 11.198. Um, the problem said, how many decimals do we want? It usually tells us uh, it doesn't in this case. So you know what? Better safe than sorry. I'm going to use three or four decimals. I like four decimals um, if it doesn't specify. So 11.1982. 11.1982, and we are in miles. All right, and that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.